Well, credit to Colorado State. They're a terrific team. Um, it's amazing just that this league and some of the players, uh, how terrific they are. Um, David Roddy was phenomenal. Um, didn't really, you know, I mean, he got rebounds. He's tough. We tried to trap him. We tried not to trap him, and he burnt us. But I think at the end of the day, what got us was the lack of ball movement offensively. Um, they were switching our ball screens, and we were just staring instead of moving bodies. And the offense let us down. But the first half was very entertaining. You know, I mean, that, that was uh, another great crowd, greatly appreciative. Great to see all your beautiful, smiling faces uh, instead of covered like usual. Uh, but very, very grateful uh, for our fans. And we're building, you know, and, and to get a four out of five winning, uh, you know, win four out of five in February is great to win three in a row. We got to learn from it and see if we can go get San Jose. Coach, you just said a man. I mean, Roddy's a man. And, and what you've got, and, uh, we've got something to go out of it. Obviously, they decided let's just let the big guy eat. What, what can you do? Yeah, we tried to, we didn't trap him a whole lot in the first half, and we were up two. So we were kind of like, all right, if you don't trap him, you're not going to give up other shots from other guys. And maybe that's, you know, so we thought that, then it got away from us a little bit. Then we trapped him, and he burnt us a couple times. We turned him over a couple times. I mean, he's, it's amazing that he's not like a clear cut player of the year uh, in the league. Now, who knows how they finish? If, he, if they win it, I would think he would be. Um, but we've seen some pretty good individual players. And I think they have some really, really good pieces, too. And, and you know, I, I even think Stevens is just, the guy just never gets out of control. He plays winning basketball. So I, a lot to learn. I mean, I think, I think Colorado State, I think they're good enough to. Go to a Sweet 16. I really do. I think they're that good. So in the second half, when the offense became what it became, especially the last 10 minutes or so, um, is that because they're taking away the ball movement, or is that because you guys mentally they, weren't doing it right? Like, they were, yeah, they were switching, mm -hmm. and we were getting stuck. And, you know, we, we, we didn't trust our ball movement and our player movement. And, you know, it's, it's we kind of stared at House and Mash. House and Mash are the reason that we've won 11 games. Um, but we need to do a much, much better job. I got to coach them better um, because it was just way too much dribble, dribble, dribble instead of moving the ball. We went down to Jay a couple times on some switches, and that was good. So I, I think we'll watch the film and learn from it. And we regressed. I thought our offense was really, really moving forward in a lot of things, but we regressed there. I mean, you guys have had teams obviously switch on uh, on this season before, or before – this season, so I'm I'm curious, like why they seem so just unwilling, I guess, to, to adjust to it. Well, I also think it's maybe the best team in the league. Okay. That may have something to do with it. Um, where their length, you know, I mean, they 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 got some nice interchangeable parts. Um, so, and then allowed them to get out on the break, and you know, so I don't know. I mean, I I, I haven't seen too many teams like Colorado State this year, quite frankly. I mean, I think they're one of the best teams we've played. Can you just speak on Jay's performance tonight? It seemed like he started off super hot and then kind of got banged up towards the end. Yeah, you know, I mean, he, he he's offensively very gifted. I'm excited for what he can become. You know, I think he's bought into putting on weight and putting on muscle and working on his game. And I think he can really, with that size and that skill level, I think he can really uh, move forward. He's rebounding the ball better, which is great. Um, you know, since so future's bright, you know, we, we needed to do a better job of moving it and getting him touches instead of, just all of us playing one on one. Yeah, I mean, Mash just seemed like he was getting kind of like pushed around a little bit. He got kind of frustrated. What do you say to a guy like that where it's just like he's just getting pushed around? Yeah, I thought he got a little frustrated. He missed like three at the basket that were good looks. And it's a big physical team. And we're just not big and physical right now. Um, so just keep playing through contact. We got into the bonus somewhat early in the second half and shot a couple too many jump shots. So I think there's going to be when we watch the film. We're gonna we're gonna say Colorado State's really really good. Colorado State's what we want to become. Um, you know that's Nico's done a really good job of slowly building it, right? And I know we don't want to be good in four years. I understand that, but he's built it the right way. That's what we're trying to do as well. And those are guys who weren't great early, and they've become great because they've got a lot of experience. Richard, minus four minutes, you just played with two of the best teams in the league for the last three days. What, 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 did, you, what did your team prove to themselves? What, what do you know now that maybe you didn't know? Well, I think I've said it a lot. We're trying to rebuild a lot. 
and I think our fans that come and watch us play know we're going to give it our best shot. We are undermanned, but they see that we're going to scratch, we're going to claw. It's not going to be an easy game. Um, you know, with, there's clear deficiencies, front court and so on. We're clearly young, um, but we're going to keep fighting. You know, and, and, and that's the biggest thing that I've been proud of. I think they're all uh, great kids who work hard. And Was there something going on that you decided not to go back to Forsman? Probably because, so we put Jay at the five, and Jay was not great at guarding uh, uh, Roddy. So we put Javante at the four and put him on him. And we just felt like matchup-wise, we were, we were swimming upstream, and Jay's the better offensive player. And our best offensive lineup has been going a little bit smaller. Um, you know, but I thought Sebastian was good. He got a little bit of foul trouble. We took him out and didn't go back to him. I think a lot of that was just we were swimming upstream offensively. Three games in less than a week. You know, you guys, are you going to give the guys kind of some rest going into Sunday? Are you going to go at it kind of hard? I'm not giving them rest. Um, well, I mean, we'll come back. We're not going to beat them up for sure. But, you know, tomorrow is Friday. So we'll watch a lot of film. Um, get their minds right. You know, I, I, it was emotional because just two games ago, we beat a top 25 team and, you know, who, who none of us expected, didn't know what to expect, so to speak. Then we just come off and I was worried about their energy coming into this game. And it was really good at the beginning and you could tell we got fatigued as the game went on. So this time of year, it's all about teaching them from film, but making sure they're rested. Coach, you talked about some of the other pieces around Roddy, but when he goes out with that third foul, was there a moment where you maybe tried to insert something, or like was there a strategy that the, that just you guys weren't able to execute, or something? You Not a whole lot of? worked. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I think they're really good. I think they're one of the best teams in the league, and I think we're 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 still trying to figure it all out. I think the when Roddy went out, our offense certainly sputtered, and you know we just got to learn from it, and get better. What do you guys got to do when the shots aren't falling? What can you guys do better than you did tonight when the shots just aren't falling in the second half? You know, we got a little, we as a team, you know, just got a little snagging on the offensive end. Uh, as you notice, they were switching a lot, kind of took us out of our rhythm, you know, throwing some zone at us. But at the end of the day, you know, you just got to get stops on the defense end. That's what it comes down to, and they're the tougher team. You guys were right there with them. I mean, it was, again, toe to toe with the league title contender up until. About midway through the, that second half, I mean, yeah. it's still close until about then. Um, was there a mindset change that you could feel, maybe your confidence change in the huddles or on the bench or anything? Could you kind of feel it slip away from you? Yeah, yeah, I didn't like our, our huddles, you know, coming into it. Kind of felt like we were already beat, you know, after they were getting make after make and we weren't getting stops. Uh, after we played so well last game, you know, we thought it would carry over today. It was, you know, every team's different. Every team has different players. Every team's uh it's a different matchup, and um, you know we have a lot of respect for that Colorado State team, and you know they executed down the stretch. What was said in those huddles? Uh, you know, come on, man, like pick it up. You know what we what we got to do. You know, no turnovers. Uh, we got to execute. At the end of the day, you know what it is: get stops on the defense end. When Roddy went to the bench with the third foul, was there a, something you guys were going to try to take advantage of that just wasn't happening? Right. You know, Roddy's a, um, you know, he's. He's contender of player of the year in this league. Uh, all respect, he's a, he's a very talented player. Uh, when he went out, you know, obviously there's a little advantage for us. Um, but when he's in, man, it, it's a load to take. It's a load to stop, you know. You talked about them switching. You guys get a little stagnant. I'm, I'm looking at the second half box right now. I know you only made eight shots, but, like, only two assists and a half is I mean, it's pretty bad. Was that them taking it away, or was that you guys not passing enough? Uh, you know, it's a little bit of both. You know, we got to understand when teams do that. Um, one on one's not the answer. Uh, moving the ball, getting them shifted, and then attacking. Uh, that, that's what that's that's what we got to do. Anything else for KJ? You know, pretty much three games less than a week. How tired are you? And you know, how excited are you to play San Diego State for Thursday? Yeah, Thursday? we can't get tired. Tired's not the answer. You know, you just got to show up, work the next day and get ready for the next opponent. That's it. Yeah, KJ, recently Coach Patino has really been stressing the guards being able to improve their game against big teams and against size and length. You know, uh, Colorado State has some size, obviously. Uh, and that first half, it seemed like the guards were being able to penetrate. That second half, it seemed like it was getting a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, just what what changes when they, the other team goes zone? You know, because it seems like throughout the season, zone gets thrown at you. Yeah, it, it, it's a it's just a you know a technique to throw your method, uh, throw your rhythm off. Mm -hmm. uh, once you you know you're in a rhythm, going against man, you get a couple scores and they throw a zone at you, uh, and they start switching stuff. You know, like like you saw, we got a little one on one uh, heavy, so. Uh, I think moving the ball is the, the real answer, you know, and getting them shifted and making them play defense for a, a 30 second period of time. I think in the first half, uh, I think we had a lot of energy and everyone was uh, everyone was in line and, and what we had to do. And in the second half, I feel like uh, I feel like we left we uh, took our foot off the pedal a little bit. Do you guys kind of look tired, you know, just coming off the game two days ago and then, you know, a game coming up just in the other two days. How tired is this team right now? Uh, I mean, a little fatigued for sure, but, you know, you can't use that as an excuse, you know, have to come into every game ready. Javon, can you just talk about guarding Roddy? I undersized as a, as a team, certainly, yeah. as an individual, and he's, he, he's, a, he's a big man. Though. Yeah, he's really strong. Um, you know, you can't really, like, Completely like stop them, you just have to contain them. Really, was there a plan, was there a plan to double? I mean, it looked like it was whoever, whoever got him had a good, good luck. Oh, we didn't want to because uh, he's a really good uh, passer out of the post, so yeah, so like I said, he's hard to guard. You guys have been able to simulate some things in practice, like you know, going up against Air Force and, and Wyoming. Yeah. Like, is there anything that you could do to simulate getting ready for for Roddy? Not really. You know, he's what like 250, 260. Yeah, it's a big man, like you said. It's just have to have to do your best to you know try to contain him. You played with these two teams basically for two straight games. What did, what did you prove to yourself as a team in these last three? Um, you know uh, that that other teams in the league should um, I think respect us a little more. You know I know we're at the bottom of the league, but um, I feel like um, our record isn't isn't a good uh, representation of how good we actually are. All right. So what do you guys got to take away from this week? Obviously, what happened Tuesday. That's a high happened in the second half, especially tonight. Mm -hmm. You guys have, you know, stuff to learn from. So overall, this week, what does it mean for this program? What you guys did this week? It was a good week. Um, you know, we can't be too high, but also can't be too low at the same time. So we just have to, um, we just have to focus for San Jose. You guys are a team that I mean, there's no secret about it. You guys. If you hit a bunch of jump shots, you guys are going to be pretty good. You guys have right. shown that at times this yeah. year. What can you do when the shot's not falling? What, what do you guys need to do a little better if the jump shots aren't falling? Uh, defense, I think, really. Um, you know, every game, um, every game won't be able to hit everything, so um, you have to get it back on defense. Anything else for Javante? What's going to be like playing San Jose State around for you know the second time? Wyoming, obviously a big difference in you know the, the, the two games. San Jose State playing them for the second time. What do you say? Uh, you know, every team always gets, gets better the second time you play them. Um, I know we won the first time, but um, we have to come into it with the same mindset and just uh, you know just be ready to play them.